also watch TV there if we put the TV where the door is. Mm -hmm. well, I hope not. Yeah. I am on my way to go get my hair done. This is the one day that I've gotten my hair done where I'm like all done up. I have a cute little outfit on. I have all the shit in my car that I need to bring to Brooklyn and Jenna. I'm on time and then I get in my car and it's like you have eight miles to go before you're out of gas. I was like, why do I always do this to myself? And I know I do this to myself because gas is so insanely expensive right now. It just hurts to like pull in there. It's like getting fucked in the butt with no lube. So I have five miles until I'm empty and I don't know if I'm gonna hit a gas station before my tank is empty. So let's hope that I do. Um, but I'm just frustrated because it's like the one time that I'm actually like on time um, and ready to go and everything and like not hassle anyone. I'm like about to run out of gas. So I really hope that um, I hit a gas station pretty quickly here. Also, in honor of finding my container with all of my colored liners, I did some colored liner today. I found my natural eyeliner bin and my colored liner bin and I haven't seen that shit guys since like, I haven't seen it since um, like nine months ago or whenever it was that I moved all of my like animals back to California. I haven't seen it since then and I just found it yesterday. So I was pretty excited about that. Oh shit, I have four miles till I'm empty now. Y'all, we barely made it. Getting gas and the amount that we're paying for gas is crazy. I need to know how much is gas where you guys are at. It is $5.99 here for regular. So let me know in the comments below how much gas is for you guys. I'm just curious. Oh, look at this shit. So many foils. I feel like Beetlejuice when I have like the foils in because only like half my hair is showing and it's like so little and wispy. Um, we've got like rainbow ones here and pink ones here. So letting this sit in here. We're doing a full, what is this? A full? Baby light. Yeah. A full baby light. Is that what it's called? Full baby yeah, for your little baby hair. My little baby hairs. Um, this is the last time I'm gonna be getting my hair done until I have pushed a human out of my vagina. So. <clears throat> Your Shock. daughter will not think you're brunette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need to be, have her thinking I'm brunette. Although I did really like that brunette picture I sent you the other day. Remember, I was like, that one was really pretty. I was like, what would I look like with this color? I am home. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. I put two little baby clip-ins in the front right here to give me a little bit more up here because these little fuckers won't grow out. But we obviously cut it shorter and I'm actually loving it. I like in preparation for pushing a baby out of my vagina, we needed something that was easier to deal with. So we went shorter and I freaking love it. My roots look amazing. Thank you, Jenna and Brooklyn for making my hair look awesome as usual. I'm super lucky to have you guys. Like I feel so much better that my roots are done. Everything looks good. I'm stoked to have shorter hair. It's just easier to blow dry, easier to curl, easier to manage. So I'm pretty excited about it. We also only did one row of tape in, or not tape ins, sorry, hand tied um, in here so that it's easier for me to throw my hair up and hide my extensions because my hair is so thin that when it comes all the way up here and it's close to my ear, it's virtually impossible to hide. So I'm gonna be making myself a row of clip-ins to go all the way around to give myself a little bit more body when I wanna wear it down and then put these little clip-ins in the front so I have some more hair in the front and it's not just like my little mullety ass like fucking hair. <laughs> so um, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it feels really, really good. It feels really fresh and like free to not have like all that hair on me. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Doing my little uh, foot compression situation and I'm gonna watch some TV because I needed to get my feet, the, like the blood flowing. They're very swollen right now. And my face is actually starting to swell up a little bit as well. My eyes are puffier than usual. My face in general is puffier than usual. So we're, we're getting closer. <laughs> He's harassing the cat in the background. I am about to cut some poblanos. He just fired up the grill. We're gonna make some 
Enchiladas. We're also gonna make an extra thing of enchiladas so that when the baby comes, we have something to eat. You gonna have any kitty enchiladas? Ooh, mm. Joseph, will you sacrifice yourself? Kitty enchiladas. <laughs> By the way, I think this is gonna be a really good closet. And I'll explain why. And I think it's gonna be a nice little visitor's closet. Someone just commented on my Instagram video, and I think I have the baby's new nickname. <laughs> she, she called newborns crotch gobblers. Crotch gobblers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Did you that forever, or did that get weird after a while? <laughs> it probably gets weird after a while, but it's pretty funny, so she might have to be called a crotch goblin forever. Mmm. All done. Well, ready to put in the oven. And here are the steak ones. Ooh. So the enchiladas were really good. Did you like? No. I loved. <laughs> Oh my goodness, today has been a little bit of a whirlwind. I haven't even had a chance to vlog. I just got my nails done again. I have never had this shape of nail. I've done a coffin a long time ago, but I really like this, this is really pretty. Um, everyone's out of the house today. We were packed full of people in here working today, so I kind of hung out in the bedroom, got my nails done. Came back, edited, did a little bit of work, and now I'm sitting down because my, um, who the hell just drove down my driveway? The fuck? They just drove down the driveway super fast too. I can't wait to get a gate at the bottom of our driveway. I think they're probably just delivering an Amazon package, but let's see. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff out here. Um, but I like to swim naked in the pool and it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> that people can just show up on my driveway. So my ankles and feet today have been absolutely super swollen, very painful. Like I swear my body, and there's just so much stuff I need to do. Like the, the amount of walking around I need to do right now in the house is insane, but like my feet are killing me. So I swear my body's like, oh, you're not gonna slow down, bitch? Okay, watch me slow you down then because I am really slowing down. Um, I feel like she is coming like literally any day now. I still have not packed my labor bag. I need to do that tonight. I have a list going, but like, look at this place. Like there is just so much to do. Like, let me give you a quick pan of this living room. While we're panning, I'll show you, we finally got a new dishwasher. I'm so excited for this. We had have had our, a very old dishwasher since we moved in here. And um, we have been hand washing dishes for the past uh, close to a year now in this house. So I am very excited to have a brand new one. Also wanted to show you guys the dog bowl area. There's gonna be a light that illuminates this area. Um, yes, it's for you. And then we're gonna have like a pot filler, like pasta arm out here. You are just in the way, pretty girl. Boop, 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 boop. It's Wednesday. I haven't really been vlogging a whole lot this week because I've been so damn busy with the house. But my favorite ah. person in the world is home today. It's 420. It's 420? Oh, it is. <laughs> um, I got a check this morning from my manager that was like, hey, are we on track for that? Um, content that I'm, I actually have a sponsorship guys. It's amazing. The first time in a very long time. Um, and I was like, Oh shit. I thought it was hey. due Friday. And then there was people in here all day making noise. Hey. So we had to scramble and get everything together, but I think we did it. Nick actually makes an appearance on a video that isn't a vlog. It's pretty cool. Um, okay. He's, he's been busy doing some lights outside and wait, we got to show everyone the shelf 
Are you oh, good? Yeah. Here? It's not stained or anything yet, but look how freaking cool Ooh. that is. And that's the best part, I think. And this isn't like a shelf like you bought. Like you actually routered that out. You put all of the lighting in there. Every out, every aspect of it, homemade, baby. That's awesome. You're turning into an electrician. Okay, show us show us your handiwork outside. <clears throat> so these mushroom lights, it's kind of hard to tell on the vlog, but those are not solar powered anymore. And then look at our palm trees. Look how good that looks. What was that, babe? Oh, you want a little little dark experience? Oh, you got it. <laughs> He's controlling with his phone. Are uh, no, you afraid of the dark? I can turn it back on for you. I got you, girl. Oh, that's so cool. Even Joseph loves it. Hi, JoJo's. That is really, really, really cool. I'm super stoked on that. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Um, there's about eight people in here working today, so I'm gonna try my best to just hang out in the office, get some stuff done. It's kind of annoying though, like, <laughs> I'm trying to like work in here and I had a bunch of stuff going on my computer and all my power went out twice now in this room without any warning. Or the electrician company, we're not super stoked with them. They're named uh, Red Hawk. Uh, so if you're in San Diego, I wouldn't recommend hiring them. Happy Friday. I have been redoing this room and I know it doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to be, well, I am arranging it so that I can have a cute desk area set up here and I can flip my lights and film that way if I want. And then this is my package receiving desk as of now. Yes, it is a camp table, but we're, we're working with what we have right now. Then I decided to start using some of the natural light for outside because I was just kind of over chilling in this dark corner filming with giant backdrops. So I got a backdrop holder from Amazon to go from the ceiling down. I'm sorry, I sound like a man this morning. I like literally just woke up not that long ago. So this needs to be organized and stuff. Um, and I'll probably get a more permanent, maybe rolly table or something. That's funny. Rolly permanent table. Actually, the point of a table that rolls is so that it isn't permanent. But I guess what I mean is like one that's on wheels that I can move around. So the idea is to use natural light so I don't have to use this these giant crazy lights here. I'm hoping not to have to use those and I can use them around the house. Um, so then the idea is that I'll have a filming space there if I want to sit here and have like my iMac in the background with a cute something on there and a fucking plant, whatever. And then I can use this and then pull a backdrop down from the ceiling. And then this is where my other wall is. And I'm going to put like a picture that's mine up here. <laughs> this is Nick's. Um, and then like a chair or something here. So anyways, I am about to look at the footage that I just took from, I just took like a sample little footage with just the two lights there. This is like the cheapest soft box off Amazon and that is just a ring light. So moment of truth, obviously I'm gonna have to tweak this. I was looking at this other ring light here too, um, which looks pretty good. But let's see what this looks like. I'm also kind of messing with the settings of how I record because there's 4K and not 4K and it goes in different areas. So I'm trying to look at this to see what products look like and when they come into focus. So I think the lighting actually looks pretty good. I might just do one more soft box. This vlog camera also has a tendency to make your skin look nicer than it is. You can see a lot more pores in the actual 4K. This vlog camera is just awesome and it blurs your skin a little bit, but this looks good. I like the lighting. What do you guys think? Like if I was doing like a makeup tutorial with more natural light, what do, how do you guys feel about this? I think it looks pretty good. Obviously the back background is um, hideous. It needs <laughs> you know, a color roll or like something, but I love how quickly like that focused and like the lighting I just think looks really good like it I like I'm liking it better than what my studio has been looking like lately like the lighting when I've been editing videos I just am not really liking it so I think this looks pretty good another thing that I'm super stoked about that I wanted to share with you guys is um, I wanted to show you rustica doors I found them on Google somehow or like Instagram and they just have like the the freaking coolest doors so I reached out to see if they wanted to work together um, because when you need a few different doors for your house, it can get kind of pricey. Doors are not cheap, especially rad custom ones. Like, like, look at this. 
So um, we just placed our order and it was a lot of measuring and everything and they agreed to work together and I'm so freaking excited. Um, I really hate our front door. It is like so hideous. You guys have heard me talk about it in vlogs before. So I just um, wanted to share it with you. It's probably gonna be a little while before our doors are ready because they're custom made and everything, but they just have like the coolest doors, like glass barn doors. We're doing like a barn door in there. And then I don't know. I just like, I wanted to show you guys cause I'm just super stoked about like getting these. So I'll have to show you guys when we actually install them or have them installed, but they have a really cool selection. So if you were like me, like at a loss looking for like really rad doors, cause I was like Googling everything and couldn't find anything until I found them. I will link it for you guys below and you guys can check it out, but they make some badass doors. So I've got kind of a late start going. I was gonna go to an adoption event uh, for Fernando. It's the uh, little bearded dragon that I have been fostering, but he's actually pending adoption. Woo! So um, that's pretty cool. So I might go and drop off some mealworms to uh, one of the, oh, there's a giant grasshopper outside. Um, to one of the uh, ladies who runs the adoption or rescue. Um, so, but I kind of have a lot to do as well and I really need the sunlight to film a bunch of stuff. I've got a whole list of stuff to do. I've got packages to drop off. I've got a lot to do today. Piper and I are taking off. We're going out to the adoption event after all. I filmed a little hair tutorial on like blow drying, washing my hair. And then I am taking my worms <laughs> over there to give to the lady. Um, I don't know why I can never remember her name. I wanna call her Christine, but I don't think that's it. I'm so freaking bad at names. So then after, after, I'm getting really close to Nick's car. Um, after we drop these off and go say hi, we're gonna go visit dad at the station, throw the ball a little bit, walk around, and then I gotta come back here. I've got a bunch of stuff to do still. Edit. Um, I need to film some stuff still. I gotta drop off some thank you cards in our neighborhood. Okay, we are here. It is at Pets Plus. My screen is black, so I don't know if this is recording, but got my worms. We're heading inside. All right, at the fire station, the guys just left. They got some sort of a gas leak call so pipes and i are here making sure the quinoa doesn't burn so they'll be gone for a while <laughs> nick literally just ruined the first batch of quinoa that he did because he wasn't paying attention so he's starting on the second and he just had to leave so um we're waiting about five more minutes for this to cook and then we're gonna stop by the grocery store and head home what do you think pipes baby girl Look at your cute little bandana. Yeah, he's a good girl. Couple more minutes on the quinoa. I wanna show you guys this rig. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> Piper looks, she looks like a little station dog. You look like a little station dog, don't ya? Are you watching TV? Huh? Sit. Good girl. dinner situation. I was gonna make a salad but didn't really feel like it so I've got a turkey patty under here with a little bit of cheddar, some arugula and spinach, uh, spicy mayo that I'll dip in there, avocado and red onions and I think that's all I'm gonna be able to fit in my stomach. <laughs> this is special today. I just I seriously feel so puffy. I just woke up. <sighs> I got a couple things in the mail. I'm gonna show you. Nick just got off work and he is about to help me. Well, actually he is doing this. I'm not doing anything, but these brackets are gonna go on the ceiling in my little studio room so I can pull down my backdrops without having them be on like these giant stands that take up a bunch of floor space. So that's them. Here's how these turned out. I'm pretty stoked so I can kind of change the colors whenever I want. And then I just pull these guys and they can come down and I can film from here and have different colored backdrops. That is super rad. I can also put another one back here if I want six of them. So that's pretty badass. 
We are heading out to the Avocado Festival in Fallbrook and we're loading the dog up, about to take off, and then... <laughs> Good girl! Get a minute! Get a minute! Good girl! And then a little later we're um, having a couple of his uh, co-workers over. Um, I cannot open this with one hand, my hands hurt. <laughs> Um, over for burgers. I may need help with this handle. <laughs> so, <laughs> the avocado festival is total bullshit because it was like 150 degrees and my cankles were walking around and everyone was pissing me off. Oh. <laughs> it was so crowded and so hot. And now we're going to see what... You're okay. literally crowded and so hot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I we're going to see a band that calls themselves Banda Music, but it's not. Yeah, it's like old men. Oh, like right. old men, but living we're living their fight. dream. We're here for it. <laughs> <laughs> also, another person living their dream right now. <laughs> yeah, look at this oh, handsome yeah. stud. Uh, show me, show me the kids. I'm dead. <laughs> Wet floor. You know why? Because of that outfit. So we just got in here and literally caught the last 30 seconds of it and all the ugly lights were on. That's so Mexican of us. <laughs> right when we got our drinks. So, I mean. Alright, ready? Nick. Arriba, abajo, al centro, adentro. I forgot to open this. No one's more late than a Mexican bitch. <laughs> Oh, this eye is killing me. I've been rubbing it. Ow. I swear it took off all my makeup. Why the hell is your makeup on my face, though? How cute is this? <laughs> my aunt got this for me, and then I have a onesie that says I'm not tired for baby. Oh. Dude. Oh, there's way too much cigarette smoke outside of the event space in the casino. We had to go. So we just stayed for a little bit and then now we're home. We're so tired. We missed the whole freaking show. That band wasn't that good anyway though. Um, now we're watching Richie Rich. I'm exhausted. I don't know why I'm, I'm so tired. Well, I guess I do know why I'm so tired. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, hope you guys have a great week. And, huh? Is that my friends? Yeah. My friends. <laughs> we'll see you later.